Good afternoon everybody, it's me Ernie, I'm here again with another video, this time I'm going to be reviewing two classics from the late 70s, and they are two gang related films, that's two gang related films, that my big brother Tommy, who's no longer with me, had died a couple of years ago, I'd went to see at the cinema, he talked to me about them all the time, and I was like, wow, wish I could see them, but alas, I was small and I was only 14 and they were both X certificates as in 18s nowadays and unfortunately I couldn't go to see them until the early 80s so today I'm going to be talking about The Warriors and The Wanderers two of the best gang films of the 70s and 80s still classics to this day so first up, we're going to talk about The Warriors. I always remember Barry Norman on film 78 or 79 it was. And he came on reviewing The Warriors and he showed the trailer. And, then he's, and I was like, wow, my brother's seen this. And I was like really excited about watching it all and everything. And uh, he gave it a good review. He said it was fantastic. Our Tommy told me all about it and I loved it. And in them days, in the late 70s, early 80s, a bit like the Wanderers and the Warriors, most teenagers were all in gangs. I was in a gang, I used to hang around Reddish Bridge in Gorton in Manchester. And we all used to talk about these films because we were old enough to see them. Then the advent of video come out and everybody seen them then. So first of all, we've got the original Warriors which was directed by Walter Hill, stars Michael Beck and James Ramar and a few other people that you remember. It's basically about a gang who are from Coney Island, New York and they've been invited to a massive meeting up in the Bronx where there's going to be nine, delegate, nine delegates from every gang in the area are all going to be in this big park at Central Park in this big meeting to see if they can bring peace throughout the gangland and run New York. The main leader of the biggest gang is called Cyrus and he's the one and only, as the film says. So basically, at this big meeting, if everyone's seen the Warriors, most people I know have seen it, it's a legendary classic. At the big meeting, somebody shoots Cyrus dead. This is in the first 10 minutes. And basically, point the finger at the Warriors so the head honchos of Cyrus's gang put a hit out on the Warriors any means way kill them at all means so the Warriors go on the run and they have to get back to Coney Island so they have to go through the neon streets and the subways of New York 99% of the film is shot at night so it's all dark there's alleyways there's graveyards subway stations there's rain and these guys don't realise at the beginning that they've been targeted and that they've been accused of this crime. And all through it there's a radio DJ, you only see her mouth and her lips and a microphone and she's talking to all the gangs along the way, giving information about where the warriors are and it's a fantastic film bit dated nowadays because of violence and stuff in films nowadays but when this come out it caused riots all over America people in cinemas were having fights ripping chairs up it was that crazy they nearly banned it but it survived now I give this 10 out of 10 it's a great film I have seen it on the big screen recently and I've also seen it and I've got it on DVD I've seen it on telly and all the videos and everything, but it's one of the films where you can sit down with your mates, a few beers, and have a cracking time. So I'll give the Warriors this version, which is the original cinema release in England version, 10 out of 10. Now we come to Walter Hill's The Warriors Ultimate Director's Cut on Blu ray. There you go. Opens up. Gives you the logo, there you go, the Warriors and all that. And I don't give this 10 out of 10. I'll probably give it 3 out of 10. Because, unfortunately, Walter Hill says in the beginning, there's a director's cut in the beginning. He starts talking about the film, how he originally wanted to do it. It was like a comic book. 
and he was basing it on the 300 which was where all the Greek soldiers the 300 soldiers had to s stop that army so it's told like a comic book and it's cartoon characters and then it swaps chapters and a page will turn and this will turn and then it starts to film again and I didn't like it at all I thought it was awful leave it as it was you don't need to mess with it everyone knows how it was the warriors this version is terrible the only good thing about the blu-ray is you get a 12 uh, like a six six part documentary on the making of the film and all the people who have contributed to it who are still alive and talking about it and everything and it's got the original trailer and it's got a 5.1 dolby surround track on it whereas this version's only got the mono soundtrack but if you remember the mono one it's good this not worth the pants now we come on to third choice which is i told me mate daniel autumn on youtube and that he knows who he is i told me mate daniel autumn he showed me this and i didn't even know it was on blu-ray and i did an unboxing of it last year and i was going to talk about it because this one holds dear to my heart that does as well the warriors but this one is more really get to me um when i was 1981 the very first x rated film or 18 certificate film i ever went to was a double bill it was the choir boys was the first film and the main film was the wanderers philip j kaufman's gang film set in 1963 in the bronx which is new york again about the wanderers an italian gang the baldies the wongs the Ducky Boys and all these other films. Now, my brother Tommy had already seen this and he took me to my local flea pit. We paid 75p to get the double bill. Now, this came out on Blu-ray last year and it's now highly collectible. It's been re-released without all the extras that I've got on this. If it's from Germany, Amazon Germany, I paid 23 dollars for uh, euros and it is an absolute bargain. If you open it up, it gives you... A poster of the Wanderers and the old X certificate should be in the corner somewhere. It says it was the Wanderers against the world and the world never stood a chance. Then when you go inside you get a little booklet which is all in Germany and then you get two Blu-rays. Now this one's got the director's cut and it's also got the what they call a scratch board version which is the the old VHS one and when I went to see this with my brother, I was only little as I say, I've always been small, but I come out of there at age 16 having to see this film and I thought I was 10 feet tall. I thought I was up here, absolutely loved it. Went back and seen it on my own, it's been a favourite of mine for a long, long time. It holds a lot of memories for me because I miss my brother Tommy, he died of cancer, He's a, he was a legend. And, one, and when he had his funeral, I stood up and I talked about how he influenced me in movies and music. Because my brother always took me to the cinema. And I stood up and did a eulogy and at the end of it, I put my, my fist in the air and I just said, Wanderers forever, Tommy. And I was very emotional and all that, but it reminds me a lot of him. But going back to the movie, it's basically a gang in the Bronx in the 60s. And they end up having a fight in a classroom with a black gang called the Dell Bombers and the Dell Bombers are an American football team league as are the Wanderers and they decide to have a football match on a Saturday at lunchtime which is about five days away so that's how they're going to settle the difference and then because everyone car carried blades and all that stuff in the 60s they said no guns no blades no knives we'll do it football way things escalate and everything goes on it's all about growing up in the 60s and being in a gang the wonder it's funny in parts it's absolutely hilarious it's all about them having fun being a teenager there's a party there's a bit of sex a bit of violence this even one of the wanderers in it i won't mention it all has an untimely ending in the film and it's pretty sad but it culminates in this big football game which also culminates in a massive battle for survival against the ducky boys because the ducky boys outnumber everybody there's thousands of them and it's one of the best films going the soundtrack it's got frankie valley in the four seasons it's got um it's got the chantels the Shirelles, the angels it's got lee dorsey the contours the champs dion and the belmonts and it's got the fantastic song the wanderer 
I bought that as well, which is quite hard to get hold of now on DVD and CD. So for me, 10 out of 10, absolutely stonewall classics. It's best on a Saturday night with your mates, few beers and have a double bill, basically. Stick the Warriors on and stick the Wanderers on. And I promise you, you'll go away with a big grin on your face thinking you were 17 again. So I hope you enjoy my little review of two of my favourite films of the 70s. Speak to you all soon. Take care. My name is Erna. See you soon. Bye.